Arkansas became a state on June 15, 1836, the 25th admitted to the Union. Divided on a diagonal, the northern half is in the scenic Ozark Mountains. In the south, delta farming land, beginning along the Mississippi River, rising to rolling hills and forest in the west. With only about three million people scattered across Arkansas, it's a rural population. The entire state seems more like a small town than a formal body of government. Time moves a little slower here, and the people, genuinely friendly, curious, interested, and eager to engage in conversation with strangers. On the roads, nearly everyone waves as they pass. What does an Arkansan mean? Well, uh, I guess basically it means you're from Arkansas, but uh, it means uh, that you're sort of interconnected with people. Uh, every time you meet someone or you go to a different town, they always ask what your family name is or where, where are your people from or what have you. There's this sort of invisible thread that holds people together. So I guess being an Arkansan means that you're from a place that's small and people know one another. Billy's house, one of the most remarkable in the community, is along Eureka Springs Historic Loop. There's a great deal of pride here in the town's Victorian treasures. Michelle McDonald even rushed inside and donned her authentic Victorian costume for a picture. Eureka Springs was incorporated in um, 1879. The actual birth date, I was told, was February 14th, Valentine's Day. And Eureka is quite the place for lovers. Uh, we do about 6,000 weddings a year, some years better than others. And it's just so romantic. Uh, you're not going to find too many towns left so on the historic register and the little narrow windy streets and um, hardly any um, garages or driveways and how they used to build them back then. Uh, it has a real eclectic personality. It's so much more tightly squeezed together compared to other Victorian towns I've been in, like the old mining towns and such. It's, it's uh, a lot of times you can look down on roofs here, which I haven't seen in other places. And it's a lot of fun to squeeze the trolleys down through there on a busy weekend. Everybody's pouring through this town. Well, the Crescent Hotel was built in 1886, and it was built as a hotel. Uh, but today it's known as one of the most haunted hotels in America. Turn of the century, it was a woman's college. And then in the late 30s, a man named uh, Baker said he had a cure for cancer and it was a cancer hospital and uh, he had let these people come in and and he told them he could cure them of cancer and he'd even get them to to write letters to their family and not date them so when they did pass away that he'd still keep sending these letters out saying send money and so it kind of left a, a little residual problem there uh, one of the ghosts they see quite often that there is a nurse pushing a gurney down the hall. Uh, Thorn Crown Chapel was rated as one of the 10 most important architectural buildings in the last century. Uh, it was built by E. F. A. Jones, and uh, it's a glass chapel about a mile west of Eureka, and it's just very spectacular. And you see all the trees through the, through the windows, and it has a real peaceful feel to it. <laughs> 